Hey, welcome to Q&A, where you ask your questions on faith and life, and I do my best to give a biblical perspective. Well, we have a question about prayer time, uh, personal prayer time, so let's jump in. When you're praying alone for others, how do you structure those prayers to intercede in their lives? For instance, how would you go about this process? Um, that's a good question. Um, yeah, well, I think the thing to rec- remind, remind ourselves is that that for me, at any rate, prayer is a conversation with God. So there's no formula. There's no, well, I don't have a formula um, in that sense. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a conversation with God about people, about their needs, their circumstances, wh- whatever it is that, that I'm interceding for. Um, as a consequence, how I approach um, that praying, that, that conversation is going to depend on the issue because that's going to shape the, the nature of that conversation uh, and and how I enter into that. But one of the things that I would always do is, wherever possible, is all, I'm going to, to pray scriptures because, remember, the Bible says that God's word does not return to him empty but achieves everything it was sent forth to achieve. So where there are scriptures that are pertinent, uh, I'm going to pray those, not because it's a formula, but it means that, I am aligning my, myself and my prayers with with heaven and with the with the will of God as revealed in scriptures. So, um, so whilst I don't really, you've said, you know, how would I go about this process? Um, let me just give you an example. I, I suppose some examples of how I pray for for people depending upon the the situation they're facing. So, if it's um, sickness and, and I'm praying for healing, uh, I'm going to go something like, Lord, I lift up Job before you today. I'm asking that you would release healing into his body because you say in your word, and I'm going to quote 1 Peter 2, 24, for example, you say in your word, Lord, that that you bore our sins on the cross um, and that by your wounds we're healed. And so in faith, I'm praying for, for Joe. I'm praying that you would bring healing into his body, that you would release your victory in the on the cross into his body today, that he would know uh, your your hand upon him. Uh, and, and I'm going to pray like that. Um, likewise, um, because it says in James chapter 5, verse 6, that if we confess our sins, we're going to be healed. Um, I'm going to, to be praying for grace. I'm going to be praying for uh, mercy. I'm going to be praying for repentance. If there are issues that, that Joe, so to speak, needs to confess, I'm going to pray for that, that he would do that. And and on it goes. So, so that that's how I'm going to pray for that. Um, I'm, I'm going to pray. I'm going to keep pressing into God for for healing according to His Word. Uh, that that He would know uh, God's presence, God's comfort in the midst of all that. And on it goes. Um, if the prayer is for someone who's in need of comfort, encouragement, they're going through a hard time. Um, again, I'm going to probably pray something like Psalm. 34 verse 17, where it says that the righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them from all their troubles. And, and so, Lord, uh, you you know what this person's going through. You know their heart's desires. You know the weight that they carry, the, the discouragement they're under. And, Lord, I'm going to pray that, that you, according to your word, that you've heard that cry, therefore bring encouragement, bring peace. Lord, in their time of need, bring comfort into their life. Uh, I'm going to pray some... 9 verses 9 and 10 where it says that the Lord is a shelter um, for the oppressed, a refuge in in times of trouble. Uh, And those who know him trust in him because he does not abandon those that seek seek him. Uh, And so I'm going to pray that uh, along those lines, Lord, you know this person that seeks you and and, and their their hope is in you. Lord, don't disappoint uh, for your name's sake. Lord, bring comfort. Lord, bring peace into their life as they journey through whatever it is that they're they're going through. Uh, likewise, I'm going to pray, Lord, is there anything that, that you would have me speak into their life to encourage them? Um, and if I felt, Lord, give me a, a verse, a Bible verse to encourage or, or something, then afterwards I'm going to email, text, speak to them, whatever's appropriate, um, and, and relay that to them. Likewise, if the prayer need is um, to do with a um, a relationship issue, um, then, then first of all, I'm, I'm going to pray for their protection. I'm going to pray against the works of the enemy because the Bible says the work uh, the enemy comes to divide, and so I'm going to pray against uh, the divisive work of the enemy in that relationship. Uh, I'm going to pray God's covering over them while He ministers grace and and healing while they they work on on that relationship. 
Uh, I'm going to pray for forgiveness. I'm, I'm going to pray for tenderheartedness. Uh, I'm going to to pray for um, for grace to to hear one another um, to to put aside. Uh, their, their hurts in order to learn to hear one another so that they might begin to to truly understand what what each other's going through so they might seek the Lord together and and allow the Lord to rebuild that relationship I, I'm going to pray for wisdom I, I'm going to pray against offense uh, and, and on it goes so so yeah th there's there's no formula for me I'm, I'm depends upon the issue but I, I'm going to press into God for them I'm going to pray use scripture uh, because God's word does not return to him empty. I'm going to remind God of his faithfulness, of his goodness. Uh, I'm going to ask God, is there anything that 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 is that needs to be addressed that I might um, be able to speak to them about and help them work th through that in order to receive healing? Uh, and, I, and I'm going to approach things along those lines. So, so yeah, it's um, probably not quite the answer that um, you you might have been wanting for, but there is no formula in, in my view. I'm just going to keep praying and praying and, and praying, um, you know, until God comes through for them. Uh, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to pray for comfort. I'm going to lift them before God and, and on it goes. But hey, um, you know, you're a seasoned prayer. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. How do you pray for, for others on a, on, on a regular basis? be good to hear from you. But hey, as always, if you've got questions on faith and life, you can jump over to slotter.com, use the hashtag Ask Hamish. Uh, love to hear from you. But that's it for now. Until next time, God bless.